Hello YouTube Stackers, this is ST with Silver Stacking 101. This is the first of a three-part series. This first video deals with why silver price predictions are wrong and BS. The second video will look at what silver should be priced at based on the historical purchasing power of silver in terms of the US dollar. The third video and the most important one will be how to use this information to make money with silver to maximize your potential gain while minimize your risk. Please subscribe if you haven't these should be really informative videos. It doesn't take long on YouTube to locate someone given a silver price prediction. Usually these guys are very overly optimistic. It's going to $50 an ounce. It's going to $80 an ounce. It's going to $120 per ounce in the next six months. Now, if you watch these guys, they take off their older videos. Why? Because they have been predicting the same crap for years. New people to the silver market think, oh my word, I need to buy silver now, regardless of the price. Because it's going to 60 bucks, 80 bucks an ounce. There is not a reliable model that allows one to predict what the silver market will do. Why is that? First of all, the markets are governed by greed and fear. Is there a model that can predict the ir irrational fear or unbridled greed of the market? There is a human component in the market. There is no reliable model that can predict this, period. Number two, events outside the control of the market that impact the market. For instance, a massive war in Korea. What will happen to the market? Some guy flies a plane into the New York Stock Exchange. What will happen to the market? Some silver exporter, exporting country has a coup. What will happen to the market? Can we predict this? No. Absolutely not. We don't know what's going to happen. No one else knows what's going to happen. These variables that will definitely impact the price of silver beyond any one person or one country's control cannot be predicted. Therefore, anybody that says they have a model that can predict the future price of silver is to be considered a bullshitter, period. There is no model to predict the price of silver. We can put a pencil and paper and determine the historical purchasing power of silver based on uh, what's happened in the past in modern industrialized America. And we can convert that to the US dollar and adjust for inflation and come out with a somewhat reliable number what silver should be trading at based on its purchasing power of goods and service, services historically. Spoiler alert for next week. Uh, we're pretty much at that number right now. And we have been centering around that number for quite a while, sometimes slightly exceeding it, sometimes slightly going below it. But this is the number. We're going to explain what that number is and why it is important next week. Subscribe if you haven't. You'll want to hear this. Now, I have seen Pumper say, quote, I corrected predict correctly predicted $40 
per ounce when it went to $40 per ounce. Yeah, a broke clock is right twice a day. If you blindfold me and put me in front of a dartboard, I can hit the bullseye blindfolded on the dartboard, provided you give me enough chances. Once I hit the bullseye, do you want to bet money my next throw is going to hit the bullseye? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, random luck, sometimes they hit it. Is there anybody over 50% of the time able to correctly predict the price of silver? I will submit to you no, because of so many factors that cannot be weighted on a model. Silver could go to 50 bucks in the next six months. Silver could go to 10 bucks in the next six months. We don't know. Is there a new uh, discovery of a silver ore, ore somewhere? Just the existence of a commodity suppresses the price of a commodity. So is there going to be a massive discovery somewhere? We don't know. Please do not buy into the hype of silver price predictions. And as I said before, many of them are overly optimistic. Okay, guys, laid back Wednesday. We're going to talk about the um, changes in society and how they're going to impact investments and personal property rights. Uh, please subscribe for that if you haven't. That's going to be a series as well. And it should be really good. We're going to talk about eminent domain this coming Wednesday. Uh, next Saturday, we're going to talk about what the price of silver should be. As I said before, in terms of economic purchasing power, it doesn't mean it's going to be there or stay there. But it gives us a baseline to buy below and sell above, which will be the third video. How do we apply this information because we now will have concrete information that we can verify and test and go forward from there. God bless you. Subscribe. This is ST. Uh, the website, by the way, is coming along. It hopefully will be up on the 15th of May. The, we are working diligently to provide quality content. It's going to be a free website. There's not going to be a place to join. How I'm going to pay for it is there's going to be some links to silver dealers. If you want to click the link to buy some silver, that's fine. I'll pick up a little scratch. If you want to come on the website, don't click the link. That's fine, too. I'm tickled to death to have you on the website. God bless you. Thank you.